Now I am going to explain you about how to retrieve data from multiple tables. To retrieve data from multiple tables we have to use joins. So in this topic I am going to explain how many types of joins are there in Oracle and how to retrieve data from multiple tables. So after completion of this lesson you should be able to do the following. You can write a select statement to access data from more than one table using equijoins or non equijoins and how to join table to itself and how to read, view the data that generally does not meet a join condition by using outer joins and how to generate a Cartesian project of all rows from one or two tables. So how many types of joins and is the in Oracle and also its syntax. I'm going to explain now the syntax of joins. For example, let's see this uh, example in this slide. So employee is having employee in employee table. Employee is having employee ID and department ID, whereas employee ID is a primary key, department ID is a foreign key. But in department, department ID is primary key and department name is unique key. So I want to retrieve the records employee name employee id and also department name so department name is not there in employees table department name is there in department table so how do we retrieve you have to use join conditions so oracle supports sql 1999 standard compliant it is oracle oracle supports sql 99 standards it is compliant with sql 1999 so what are the different types of joins are there in Oracle? There are th like natural join, auto join and cross joins. So what is a natural join? So before going to explain natural join, let's see the syntax. Select table 1 from co dot column and table 2 this is the we are retrieving data from table 2 this is from table 1 so table 1 natural join i'm going to explain natural join in the next slide before that just go to the syntax first so join join is a keyword and table 2 is the name of the second table using column name which column you want to use for so based on which column you want to join the table and join table 2 this is table name second table name and condition so which columns you want to use for joining you can use different column names or you can use same column name and left outer right full outer join table 2 so this is for full outer join this is full outer join and last one is cross join this is the basic syntax of joins so let me go through one by one what is natural join what is outflow outer join what is cross join so before going to that so what are the so what are the qualifying ambiguous column names i'm going to explain now what are the guidelines you should take care before joining a two tables or two or more tables so you always should use table prefix to qualify care qualify column names that are in the multiple tables for example you have a department id in employees table department id in departments table so to qualify column names always use table prefix for example you can give alias to table 1 it implies like e for department d and use table prefix to improve the performance when you use table prefix or alias name it will improve the performance in the in the instead of full table scan prefixes use table alias just now i explained you use table aliases to improve the performance 
and also it uses very less memory and table aliases give us a table shorter name keep SQL code smaller uses less memory just now explain use column aliases to distinguish columns that have identical names but reside in different tables so to uh, better understand better readability purpose use a different column aliases if both are uh, if, you know identical names both columns have uh, identical names in different labels okay then what is a natural join natural join class is based on all columns in the two tables that have the same name so same just now explain if for example we apply table in employee table department id is there and department table department id is there so you can use natural join to join employee table department table because both are having same identical name column name like department id natural join class is based on all columns in the two tables that have same name Okay, it selects the rows from two tables that have equal values in all matched columns. If the columns having same name have different data types, an error is returned. So, and make sure that both are in having same both are with same data type. If both the data type does not match, error will be returned. That is the first third sentence. Okay. I'm going to show you one example. Select department ID, department name, location IDs, comma city from departments. Natural giant locations. So let me run this query. Select star. First I will describe you departments. So departments. and locations so department id is having department id department name manager id location and let me describe locations so this is the one so here location id street address postal code city state province country id in department in department table location id is there with on this data type page number in location table location id also there and this data type page number so when you use natural join it will join two tables based on this column name okay let me write a select statement select department id comma department name location id comma city from departments so what is the step natural join which one which table you want to use locations either one so In this query, it uses it joins two tables based on location ID, column name. It re it retrieves the match records from the both the table. Okay. So, if several columns um, columns have the same name but data type do, do not match, natural join can be applied using the using class to specify columns that should be used for eco join so in this example we have a location id and both are having same data type but if 
if we have if we are having more than two columns two identical columns and data type does not match so we can use natural you can apply natural join using using class so we can do let me show you that so next next point is use the using class to match only one column when more than one column matches so use the using class to match only one column when more than one column matches and also natural join using class also mutually exclusive so this is one example in employee table department id is foreign key and department table department id is primary key okay so you can do this one using a natural join also let me show you how we can do select department id come on department name department name employee id from employees natural join this is a keyword and departments so let me run so department in employee table department id is there in department table department id is there so oracle join these two tables based on department id column and returns a match records from the both tables So how to retrieve records using using class so this is a statement select employee id comma last name location name department id from join from employees join is a keyword departments using give the column name okay so same query can be changed to me can be rewritten as joins using department id we are explicitly specifying column name using using class okay so that's all it so what are the guidelines when you are using using class do not call for a column name that is used in the using class if the same column is used elsewhere in the select statement do not alias it alias it so for example when you use for employees e department D I am I am giving prefix to column name I am using table aliases so what is that it's saying only simple column names are allowed here so you should not use areas name here and when you are doing so you will get errors but in where case if you specify that d dot department id equal to a t let me run this one what this says column part of the using class cannot have a qualifier so we should not give table you should not give table prefix or areas name in the where class so that's all so creating joins with the on class just now I explained using class using class is it for example both tables have more than one identical column name 
if you want to specify explicitly which column you want to use for join you can you can give using using class but now I'm going to explain you on class the join condition for the natural join is basically an equal join of all columns with the same name using the on class to specify arbitrary conditions or specify column names to join the join condition is separated from other such conditions the on class makes code easy to understand if you see if you want to specify condition different conditions like both are not having same identical name but you want to join both tables so how do you join you can join to uh, you can join tables using on class this is a example select e dot employee id last name department and department location id from employees join uh, departments on which condition so this is the condition we are using department id in d dot department id so the, the same query can be rewritten using a on clause so all these are equi joins sometimes these these called as inner joins also simple joins join on e dot department id equal to d dot department id what is saying column ang because defined why if you see here this is not you are not giving a prefix that's why it's saying column ambiguously defined which you want from which table you want to retrieve the data that's why it's giving like this that's all so you can join two more than two tables also using join conditions here we have used locations dot l to retrieve the data from three tables employee table department table and location table the conditions we have used is d dot department id equal to e dot department id and d dot location id equal to l dot location id so and also you can add where conditions to the on class so if you want to apply additional conditions you can use where class or you can use and so so for this to this i'm going to add one condition like and department id equal to same thing i'm just adding one more condition let's see what it finds again it's saying column ambiguously defined so what you have to do you have to use t dot that's all so you can use under symbol or you can use undo or you can use where class Now our next topic is self-join.